Hey guys, Steven here from ProTech. This is my buddy Matt. He's one of my best friends. Uh, we went to school together and we've done a lot of shooting over the years uh, with one another. And he is going to test out the SIG P365 today. And Matt is a SIG guy. He's always been a SIG guy and I've normally been a Glock guy. And that's always been a, a point of uh, brotherly contention between us. So it'll be interesting to hear uh, his first initial thoughts of the P365. He hasn't done anything with it. He hasn't dry fired it or anything. So, Matt, go ahead and, and uh, pull it out of the holster and, and uh, take some dry fires with it. And, Dad, capture all of his, uh, his thoughts. Well, I'll start off that I'm a classic SIG guy. So uh, this will be my first striker fired SIG I've ever, I've ever pulled the trigger on. Yeah, so, this will be a good uh, exposure. Fantastic. Come on up here. I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a lot different. Yeah. When your classic SIGs with the big old hammer, um, that first round heavy trigger pull, mm -hmm. uh, it's very smooth, um, really smooth. There's, it's just, it's just a smooth, clean break. Uh, coming from a guy that just never really liked Glocks, I recognize that striker fired guns are really, they, they offer an advantage. Uh, I like that. Pull the trigger back, cycle this, as you're pulling it back, cycle the slide and feel the reset. It's a solid click. Mm -hmm. And it's really short too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot shorter than your your classic SIGs. I mean, I'll be honest. If you want me to be truly honest, the the classic SIGs are outdated. That's true. That's true. Honesty. Yeah. I'm. You know me. I'm. I'm a brutally honest guy. Yep. So <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I. I like my classic SIGs, but they're outdated. That's one of the things I like about you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. All right, so Matt has three magazines. He's got uh, one of our micro hybrid holsters on, uh, fitted for the P365, and then he's got our uh, Duo Mag uh, IWB mag pouch on his left hip, where he's got the 10 round uh, with the pinky extension magazine and the 12 round with the pinky extension magazine. So he's got uh, four rounds in each mag, and uh, we got four steel swinger targets on chains right here. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna shoot each one of them once with each magazine and give us his feedback. So, everybody got eyes and ears on? Okay. On you, brother. All right, we're hot. See the targets. You said it's go ahead and shoot till dry. Yep, shoot till it's dry. Job. It's a tiny gun, so it's easy to ride the slide lock. That's I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Yeah. Well, that nigga didn't want to drop that. Yeah. to speed her up a little. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to a little gun like this. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think, brother? I, I think like any gun, uh, if it's new to you, 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 you better hit the range and practice. I yeah. mean, that, that's true for any gun. Um, I don't know. I like the feel of that. I really, I really like it. And you said this is a 12-round a magazine. That's a 12-round magazine. And those, those small ones are 10-round magazines. And that gun is smaller than, than the shield 9mm that, that I normally carry, and a lot of people carry. And the shield is 7, 7 plus 1. Do you happen to know the retail value on one of these guys? Uh, they're around 500 bucks. I'd say that's a darn good value for a small little compact gun. Yeah. Uh, Now, guys, if you've my been... My wife might be mad at you. <laughs> oh, oh and it's a perfect size for ladies, too. It is. I, I love that. It's It really is. It's just... 
it's got a good feel. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with the uh, with the non finger extension magazine. Um, it's it's a little bit. You, you can only get two man sized fingers on there. Um, yep, hard to sneak the pinky it's, on. It is. It's it's not that comfortable. But you put that finger grip extension on there, and you've got twelve rounds of nine millimeter in that compact little package. Uh, that is just a really sweet package. Good, good clean trigger. Um, I think I, I'd really like to spend some time on the range with it, with a whole lot more ammo, and just get get accustomed to it and and see see what I could do. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a sweet gun. And it comes factory uh, from the factory with night sights on it, <clears throat> I, which is a must anymore, right? Yeah. And then it comes with the two ten round magazines. And then you can pick the 12 rounder up for about 50 bucks. So for between five and six hundred dollars, you can have this gun with those three magazines. And guys, if you've been watching, because uh, we've done a few videos now with the P365, I took this to a an IDPA match uh, here a, about a week ago, and had my first six malfunctions with the gun all at the match. Um, so I cleaned it, took it home and cleaned it, and then these were the first shots out of it after cleaning, and so far, uh, no malfunctions. And this gun has, uh, a little over 3,000 rounds on it now, we estimate. That's a nice little package. Thank you, brother. Now, Thanks for letting me shoot it. Yep, you're very welcome. Now, Matt is a fellow engineer, uh, as, as I am, and, uh, we both work in small arms, uh, in different, different facilities, and he spent a lot of time with... Uh, different military groups uh, as well, doing uh, small arms work and uh, and other things, and uh, so he's had the opportunity to shoot a whole lot of uh, military grade uh, pistols and rifles uh, and a bunch of belt fed stuff and all that, uh, and uh, so he's he's had I don't know he shot hundreds of thousands of rounds downrange, so he's a very very experienced uh, shooter and he's been doing it for the majority of his life. So uh, his opinion comes with with a lot of weight, and it's brutally honest. I don't I don't hide stuff. I don't sugarcoat stuff. Yep. I just told you that my favorite guns, the classic Sigs, are outdated. So yep. I mean, I, I got nothing to hide. Yep. So yep. and that's a big statement coming from Matt. I, so I like this. Awesome. What do you think of that holster? Uh, <laughs> well, I I didn't put a belt on, so I'm I'm go, I'm riding yeah. naked with no blue jeans. Uh, obviously, when I drew, it didn't. The, the clips did not come off of my pants. I would not advocate running with no belt. Yep. But sometimes no belt happens. So um, I'll tell you what. I really like um, the, the cutout here to get your grip. Now, if you've got sexy love handles like me, uh, you you may have some slight issues here. But uh, I'll tell you what. It's. We'll go ahead and reholster here. And there's no hurry getting it back in the holster. Yep. You're not you're not rushing to get it in the holster. Um, it's it's a whole lot easier dealing with a little love handle than it is with a big slab of leather back there. Yeah. So I when when I I learned that you were doing that with your Kybrid holsters, um, that's definitely an awesome feature. I can get a full good healthy grip on on the gun, draw and not have to readjust. I'm already there. I'm already seated. Um, I'll be honest. That that second piece of Kydex in there, it doesn't look like much, but absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt, better retention um, compared to. I've got multiple uh, hybrid holsters. Um, I bought Crossbreed before Crossbreed was popular when when Mark was still working out of his garage at home. Um, I've got some other uh, hybrids of Stevens before. He started doing the Kybrids with the second layer of Kydex in there, and this is by far the best hybrid holster I've ever seen. Hands down, really well thought out, really nice fit and finish, um, attention to detail. And I'll tell you what, you, I, I don't know, I don't even know what you're charging for your holsters anymore. Uh, the hybrids, uh, now that's one piece of Kydex, and uh, the the cut on the leather isn't as aggressive, and they don't come with the added blending. So the hybrids come for seventy nine ninety five, uh, so that's the equivalent of like Crossbreed's uh, Super Tuck Deluxe with the yep. combat cut. Yep. Um, and then our hybrids run for one twenty nine ninety five, 
And uh, so far, the only other manufacturer that makes something with full coverage that attaches to a backer, I believe, is the Alien Gear uh, Shapeshifter. Um, and I don't review other other uh, manufacturers' products, uh, but aside from them, uh, uh, we're the only one that has full coverage on both sides of the gun, plus a premium leather backer. If you want to pull it off and, yeah. and uh, talk about it, you can. This is our micro model. So Come I, on in. I don't know what, what he's shown you before uh, on videos, but you can see the second layer of Kydex that sits between the gun and the leather. Um, it doesn't seem like much, but that adds a ton to the retention. Um, it, what it's also going to do is prevent um, sweat soak through on your leather into your gun. Uh, we were just showing him one of my classic SIGs in the house, and uh, the the left side is all rusty because it lives in the holster. It gets neglected a lot, um, and uh, it's it, it's from that soak through. And that one's living in a regular crossbreed deluxe, um, super tuck deluxe. Uh, from I'm gonna say circa 2006 ish when I bought that uh, so that one's seen a lot of sweat soak through on the leather that right there just that simple piece of kydex is going to prevent that sweat soak through on the main slide and up there now you're still gonna get some sweat here on your grip let's be honest your guns are tools right yeah um, you can care for them but they're still a tool uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem on this guy because it's all, almost all polymer there where, where it's touching your skin. But certain guns, it may be you may you may have to take it out and oil it more often. Uh, but I'll tell you what, just that little detail, um, really, I I think it makes it worth it. Uh, you pay a little bit more, but let's be honest, you paid 500 bucks for for the gun, 50 bucks for a magazine. Um, if you shoot as much as you should, you pay hundreds of dollars for your ammo. Uh, let's pay another 50 bucks to buy a good holster rather than a mediocre holster. Yep. That's, like I said, I'm, I'm bluntly honest. Uh, I'm, I'm just telling you how it is. Quit being such a tightwad on your holster. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's and that's coming from a guy that's a notorious tightwad. So, <laughs> yeah. This uh, guy can save more money than anybody can. <laughs> I'll bend over and pick a penny up that's stuck to the sidewalk with chewing gum. <laughs> Squeaks when he walks. Yeah. So I would absolutely... Um, buy one of these holsters for $129 there that's like I said by far the best um, it, it's called a hybrid um, it's still it's I'm gonna call it a premium or an ultra premium hybrid holster because it still takes on the shape and the, the form of a hybrid mm -hmm. the best one on the market and, and from everything I've seen and I this is the first time I've ever laid eyes on the hybrid I, I like it well, thank you, Matt. Thank uh, you very much. We, uh, uh, what, what kind of brought the Kybrid to life uh, was a video that uh, John from Active Self Protection had made about uh, hating hybrid holsters. And he commented that the retention goes away over time uh, because the leather forms to your body. Mm -hmm. and, and he's right. You know, you either have to uh, readjust the Kydex onto the leather or uh, do a little remolding. Ours didn't really have that issue very much because we use really thick horse hide, so the leather doesn't change shape a whole lot, whereas uh, thinner horse hide would or cow hide. Um, but because he said that, and he also said uh, that debris can get in on the leather side uh, of, of, the, of the gun, uh, because you know the, the cut has to allow for a grip to be had on the on the gun. Uh, so when he said those two things, that's what made our generation eight holster, where we went from our premium hybrid to a hybrid. But the only problem is the hybrid takes about another forty five minutes to manufacture because this molding process uh, is a, a bit more uh, critical and it's it's a it's definitely a craft. To get it to mold properly to where it will attach to the leather uh, without any offsets. Uh, and then we have to do a few other things too to, to, to make it work just right. Um, so it, it, I was putting a whole lot more work into the, the eighth generation and still charging the same premium hybrid price uh, 
which was very competitive. It, was, it used to be 85 bucks for for all of our holsters, and we made them all hybrids. But, uh, you know, when another manufacturer can make a premium horse height like the Super Tuck Deluxe and charge closer to $100 once you add the horse height and the combat cut and all the other bells and whistles, uh, when they can make that charge a little bit more money and it's less time to make it, it's a difficult market to compete in. So that's what birthed the, the, the term hybrid. So then we took our, our hybrid, lowered the price five bucks, so now it's even more competitive. It's a premium hybrid holster, and then we made the new class hybrid. So that's how hybrid was born. Isn't that nice? I'll tell you what, as a, <laughs> as a tight wad, I would have loved to get my hands on one of these at eighty five dollars. Yeah, I would yeah. still I would still spend the one twenty nine because eighty five is is pra practically paying people to take them. Yeah, for that value, I think it really is. Uh, that's that's very well thought out, well engineered uh, holster, and it, it's it's smooth. I'll tell you what that 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 nice uh, burnishing on the edges, man. That is that is better than any crossbreed I've ever had my hands on. Uh, it's really nice. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. And again, you know, I'm not here to to bash any other. I'm not here to bash crossbreed or, or cross, crossbreed or any other manufacturer. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, our customers will compare the products. That's why it's nice having yep. a customer yep. here who is brutally honest. Uh, and we didn't talk about this beforehand no, at all. No, none of this is scripted. This <laughs> is my honest opinion. Uh, I'm not a marketing guy, so I probably shouldn't be uh, comparing to crossbreed, but that's what I have experience with. Like I said, I've, I brought, I bought my first crossbreed when Mark was still working out of his garage at his house. Um, and so that's, that's what I've, I've got, I think three crossbreeds and uh, one of um, Protex earlier uh, hybrid holsters. And I'll tell you what, I think, I think I might need a holster for this gun probably sometime okay. in the next year. For the P365? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little, we can do nice that. little gun. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, we can do that. And I want to give you guys a quick teaser. Uh, we are making, can, can I have that 10-round magazine, please? Which one's the 10-round? That one? That one will work. We are in the T&E phase of an AIWB rig for the P365 and just for any any pistol in general. So this is a Kybrid AIWB. So we've got full leather, you know, protection on the body side. I can bend just fine. I just sat in the van on the way down to Matt's house for a couple of hours. No pain. I could get to it very easily, you know, into and out of the, I can get a full combat grip on the gun like Matt indicated from the from the uh, the micro holster. And right back in, and then we've got a space for the 12 round uh, backup mag, and it fits right on there. It's nice. You can even undo your your pants and and use the restroom and not have to pull it off. So uh, we're, I'm going to make a couple more tweaks to it, but this will be showing up on our website uh, pretty soon. Now because it's coming with a sidecar, it'll be a little more expensive because you're getting essentially a gun holster and a mag pouch. Uh, together, it'll probably be in the 149.95 range, so another 30 bucks. Uh, still very reasonable for for what you're getting, and still comes with all of our lifetime guarantees and everything. And it's adjustable. We've got two positions for the clips on either side. So uh, be looking for that on our website, and uh, we'll put some more videos up about it on the YouTube channel when time comes. But until then, Matt, thank you, brother. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Yeah. And I'm glad to be back up in Indiana because I'm going to be hanging out with this guy more often. So That'd be great. Come Looking see me more. To it. Definitely. <laughs> Stay safe, guys, and we'll see you next time.